Hi, I'm Russ Counts, President of Florida Chapter of IAAO, coming to you from sunny, sunny Hutchinson Island, Florida. And I would like to introduce the chapter's 2010 submission for chapter, chapter of the Year. While the Florida Chapter has a strong and thriving membership of approximately 1,000 members, many have been unable to attend our conferences. The webinar format, which we are introducing, will allow the chapter to reach the entire membership with educational offerings. Flora Chapter was proud to present our first webinar conference on February 23, 2010. The Honorable David Johnson, Seminole County Property Appraiser, presented his legislative update, keeping us informed with all relevant matters in Tallahassee. We have also presented a online uh, presentation live from our conference here at Hutchinson Island, and we will also be presenting additional educational offerings in 2010. In addition, we have conducted chapter board meetings using the webinar format, saving us substantial costs, and we were able to conduct our business and get it done. For chapter by AAO, hopes you enjoy the presentation. Passed actually in the 2009 legislative session and um, are already going to be on the ballot that directly affect what we do here in our business. The first um, amendment that you will see is a, an additional exemption for mil deployed military veterans or uh, military personnel. And what that says is basically, as long as the individual is deployed in a combat zone, that their taxes will be reduced by that percentage that they are for the year that they are in that combat zone. For, so for example, if they are deployed in Iraq for 50% um, of the year, their taxes would be reduced by 50%. And again, that's a constitutional amendment that will be on the ballot and that, um, again, directly affects what we do. The other part of that amendment, and again, remember this is one amendment with one question but with two distinct um, ideas associated with it, is taking the current 10% cap and reducing that to 5%. Another publication that has nothing but data in it is realtyrates.com. It's another one that Ted Anglin mentioned yesterday. This one uh, they, they actually published three different reports. The investor survey has capitalization rates for 32 property types. And they present it in several different ways. Uh, this is a typical page from the report. This one's for mobile home parks. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there's not too many sources of cap rates for mobile home parks, so this is one of them. Uh, they do three techniques. They have a debt coverage ratio technique, they have a band of investment technique, and they have surveyed rates. They, they too survey over 300 different professionals around the country, real estate professionals, and they publish the surveys. The factors that go into the calculations are listed in this column over here. They present it as a minimum, a maximum, and an average. So you get a lot of choices for rates. Some other uh, things that are in the report are financial indicators like LIBOR and treasury bond rates and uh, permanent lender rates, permanent lender uh, underwriting terms too. Another report is the mark survey in this report they have average range expenses and sales price data for seven different property types and they have it for different markets around the country including florida and a page from that publication looks like this where they have average asking rents and they've got the, the florida markets are jacksonville miami fort lauderdale orlando tampa bay and the whole florida region mm -hmm. 